All right, so welcome everybody. Uh, you may remember uh, I was presented last August at WFD5. My name is Sean Blanton. I'm a senior systems engineer here at Airtight. Uh, certainly welcome to all the returning delegates. Welcome to the new delegates. Uh, welcome to everybody watching online and certainly anybody who's going to be streaming this later. Uh, I'm really excited to present to you today uh, to really uh, give an opportunity to drive the car that Costube showed just how well our manufacturing plants work. I'm going to take it for a test drive and share some of my experiences. You know, I'm out on the field all day long uh, talking to customers, talking to potential customers. Uh, one of the things I've really experienced and uh, I've started to observe is that there's a lot of creativity that's going on with Wi-Fi. Uh, no longer am I talking to people who want to buy a Wi-Fi system just to connect. They're thinking about all the things that they can do with their Wi-Fi and they're looking for an opportunity to do all these really cool things all these different things with their Wi-Fi system. And so Kasu gave you uh, a good look at uh, the things that we're doing to enable that. Um, and with that, I thought, we'll have a little fun today, and I'm going to have a magic show that I'm going to put on. So taking the, the stance as a retailer, I'm going to be pulling loyalty out of thin air. I want to create a simple guest network that allows my users and encourages my, my, my users to sign in through Facebook, like my page on Facebook, and give me the opportunity to reach back out to them. Ooh, ah. <laughs> <laughs> so with that, um, unfortunately, my, my tigers can't come. Pepe and, and Javier, they got held up at customs. We knew you couldn't bring two Siberian tigers on as a service animal. So I need a volunteer. Is there anyone out there who would be willing to come up here real quick and be my lovely assistant? Sam. I was going to say, I volunteer Blake. <laughs> <laughs> Just make sure you, you pull your mic up before you come. Anybody? Anybody? It's all you, buddy. Blake. 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 Don't worry, you won't be sold in half. <laughs> you were born for it, Blake. <laughs> <laughs> it's your moment. <laughs> My lovely assistant, everybody. Yeah. So first things first, step over here, step over here. Um, if you could, please describe to the crowd exactly what I'm holding in my hand. A old generation iPhone. We need to get you upgraded. <laughs> <laughs> you said exactly. People on the web, it's, it's, a, it's a great iPhone. Uh, <laughs> it is an iPhone. And more than that, can you describe to the crowd what I'm doing right now? Are we going to take a picture? It's taking a picture, everybody. Hey. Oh, <laughs> All right. And finally, if you can describe to the crowd what I'm doing right now. Going to upload the photo or send it to somebody. Email it. I'm going to email it to your email address. Myself. It's an empty subject, so I might not go through. You know, it's got your spam filters working. All right. My lovely assistant, everybody. That's all I need to That's do. That's all I need to do. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so let me hop over here. So, Kasu gave you a, a sneak peek into our cloud services. That's exactly where I'm going to be working today. Uh, one of the things that's so great about this cloud services portal is that it gives us the opportunity to put into one single place, be nice if I could spell, one single place all of my utilities. Beautiful. So from here, I gain access to my Wi-Fi system, to my guest manager system, to some of the tools that we've created to help both troubleshoot and analyze the solution to do some new things with my guest manager. And so I'm going to start actually right here with the splash page editor. So with a single click, I get brought to this nifty little splash page designer. This allows me to create a very simple, customized splash page. And so what I'm going to do is we're going to focus on Facebook today. Let's get some cool colors going. Purple, anybody? All right. And that picture. We'll just save this thing right to the desktop. And we'll use that as our branding image. So you can see here we have logos, branding images. We can even upload our own personal terms and conditions so that we can incorporate our own uh, organization's terms. And of course, we take our splash page. We download. And so at this point, what I'm doing is I'm just downloading the, that bundle of, of files because our guest manager living in the cloud gives us an opportunity to host Splash Page. We do a lot of really cool and unique things with that Splash Page. Right now, I'm just going to be using this to set up my Facebook loyalty program. Actually, 
actually, you know, uh, just wanted to add what uh, Sean just showed you. The splash page designer uh, is again something that came out from you know the pain uh, of uh, yeah, sorry uh, going through the. Thank you. Uh, you know, as a managed service provider, you know, trying to enable customers who do not have the staff uh, to, you know, develop uh, all these, you know, nice little things on top of their Wi-Fi. So, you know, initially we started off by, you know, doing it ourselves. You know, our, you know, graphics team, uh, the web development team was very excited, but pretty soon we got, you know, inundated with, you know, so many requests after they, you know, started loving what we were doing. Also through our partners. Uh, it actually we reached a point where the web developer said, you know, enough is enough. We want to automate this whole process, right? And we want to automate it to a level whether it, where it's, you know, not just about changing colors, but it's also about actually easily bringing in all the plugins, whether it's, you know, social Wi-Fi, whether later on, as Sean will show you, whether it's, you know, loyalty program uh, and, and all of that, right? So uh, that is where, again, that tool was created, you know, which sort of almost, you know, does a cookie cutter gives you a cookie cutter to you know, create splash pages on the fly. So yeah, sorry, back to Sean. Perfect, and so at this point, now that I've updated my, my bundle file and I have my custom splash page in, uh, in my portal, the only thing I really need to do is come into the Facebook page and make a simple modification, and that is adding my like page. As I mentioned, I'm using Facebook, I'm leveraging tools that already exist to create my loyalty program. And so all I need to do would be to come into the edit page and en enable the like page and include my spot. The app ID, the app secret, these are tools that are created utilizing the Facebook API or the Twitter API or LinkedIn or Google Plus, uh, which is a new plugin of ours. Uh, these can be standardized. All these do is facilitate the communication with the social site to allow the authentication to talk back to our system. So the only thing I need to do is add a like page. And as Kostu mentioned, purchase my airtight device and simply plug it in. Maybe not so simply plug it in. <laughs> okay, well, there we go. Now you may be asking yourself, well, what about the network side? So how do I build my SSID profile, setting all the NAT rules, the firewall rules, building my captive portal, setting all my walled garden sites? Well, really, truly, here's where the magic lies. Because as Kostu mentioned, uh, our template implementation strategy, the way that we can create profiles and push them out to large numbers of sites, gives us the opportunity to share our knowledge. Uh, and I talked about one of my experiences being seeing this kind of creativity out in the field. Another one of ex experiences, no matter who you are, in a certain vertical, there's a lot of custom things you want to do. There's a lot of really unique things you want to do. But generally speaking, most of the things that you want to do are pretty standard. To your point, exactly, there are certain verticals that you can make certain assumptions. And in fact, I see a lot of people who don't take advantage of some really cool features because they just don't think that they could take advantage of that, even though they know they want to or they know they would. So we're able to actually take those templates and through our system, if I was an MSP, make a copy of that 80, 90% that it is just pretty much standard throughout, ask my customer or provide that as a service to say, what are the few things that you want to add to it? Heck, maybe using the API, you create a little screen, input a couple of key features, your SSID name, what you want your password to be, those types of elements, and have it create automatically. And if we have that situation in place, then all I need to do is very little. What's my Facebook page? What do I want my splash page to look like? And so just like magic, I now have a new SSID that can be broadcast into the air. With very little effort, my magic show is available. Let me pull out the wire and connect. And as any retailer or any school, any healthcare uh, organization, any type of group that might need to actually set up a page to interact with their end users, in this case, spell right, we can get redirected and, oh, ta-da. <laughs> nope, no magic fans in the room, I, I see. <laughs> <laughs> I think they were yeah. <laughs> like so there you have it. So if I, I want to uh, end my talk by uh, just highlighting some of the new things that has come from our guest manager. Uh, some of the things, you know, we, we talked about this last August, but we want to set the foundation. Uh, we want to build on top of that. So 
In addition to the social Wi-Fi, which we highlighted last time, we also have things like a guest book. Uh, a guest book provides me an opportunity to put a wall in front of my open guest network. In a corporate sense, I have vendors, I have contractors, I have people who want to, I want to use my Wi-Fi. I don't want my neighbors using my Wi-Fi. I don't want the residential areas by my office using my Wi-Fi. So I issue temporary username and passwords, expiration dates, expiration times, either on the fly or I email them as part of the visit. Or I put it in their hands, self-registering, and using SMS to enter a mobile number, have a text message passed to yourself with the code, enter the code, and you're on the Wi-Fi. So now you got to be there. And some of the delegates had an opportunity to test this um, earlier this morning. In addition to the SMS, we've also created a web form. Now, you don't have to have every single one of these forms up there. It's customizable. These are the forms that would pull into our system. So if you're leveraging our guest manager for uh, some of the analytics uh, to look at some demographic data, uh, to pull that data and push it into your CRM uh, manually, you can do that. You can also use this web form and post it into another system directly. In fact, one of our customers uh, came up with this really interesting idea that we're, we're currently implementing. And I want to use our, our, our test AT Apparels as an example. Uh, in the company, they recognized that their loyalty program had a clear uh, delta between how many dollars are spent between members of the loyalty program and non-members of the loyalty program. It's an email program. It's very simple, straightforward. But they were banging their heads trying to figure out how do we encourage people to sign up. And so the guy I get to work with uh, thought to himself, well, I think I have an idea. And he asked me to work with him to pull some of the association analytics that we can pull from our Wi-Fi system. Anonymous usage, uh, looking at number of connections, number of net new connections. And we did just that. We looked at a 30-day period, and we looked at what was the delta, what was the number of net new visits once the baseline was set. And we found that about 30 net new visitors per day per store, and they have 250 stores nationwide, were signing onto the Wi-Fi every single day. And so we thought, well, interesting. Why don't we put it out on the page right there? Entrance into this loyalty program can give you 10% off your next purchase. These forms can talk directly to their CRM through an HTTP post, which means that they're automatically entered into the program. As, and for this organization and for any retailer, this means direct dollars added. Our Wi-Fi system is now making us money. And while we may collect some of this information if, let's say, I'm a hospital, let's say if systems where a patient ID can be added to gain access to some sort of local account, throw it up there. Your guest page becomes an entrance into any one of these uh, specialized programs that you might put out. So that's my time. Uh, you know, I know it was a, a quick look into some of the new features and functionality, some of the new things that, uh, that we can do with the guest manager. Uh, you know, definitely excited to talk to everybody. And uh, like I said, uh, creativity is really growing. Uh, we're seeing uh, this look at Wi-Fi as the things that you do with it. It's not just about the Wi-Fi wi -Fi system itself. And so when we get into our, whoop, so when we get into our cloud dashboard, we have all the tools here. This will only continue to grow. And you know, always open for new ideas, new ways of doing things so that we can add it and share it with everybody else. A any questions? The SMS integration, is that included or is that a separate license or do you pay, have to pay for messaging or things like that? So today there's a uh, service that we, we integrate with called Twilio. Uh, United States is another service that we can use globally. Um, so you would create an account and uh, you would, uh, the account would issue out the SMS. Uh, but the platform uh, to create an integration with that is, is already built and is, is part of the, the entire solution. And for what it's worth, Meraki also integrates with Twilio, and we started using it um, for one particular site that had a unique need. Twilio has been dynamite, and they've been really, really reliable, quick. Yeah. We use another SMS server, and a lot of times there's delay. You know, a week will go by <laughs> where they don't really tweet or they don't. SMS very well to like T-Mobile, just inexplicably. But Twilio has been, you know, absolutely rock solid. So yeah, and it's point zero zero seven five cents yeah. an SMS, so it's it's incredibly affordable, no matter how large or small you are. Well, cool guys, thanks for the time. Nice to see everybody again, and I'm going to hand the mic over to Rick Farina. <laughs>